Welcome to AE Rain channel and welcome back to Sheet Metal Course. In the last video, we looked at metal flanges like this, and in this short video, we're going to look at a hem feature. A hem is when an edge is folded over on itself, and this is a term that actually comes from fabric making and textiles. If we look at the edge of a t-shirt, our jeans, or many items of clothing, then we'll usually see that the fabric is folded over on itself to avoid a rugged edge, and this is called a hem. In sheet metal, it's the same idea really. This is what a typical hem actually looks like, although there's a number of different types. We can use this for removing sharp edges from our model, or hiding imperfections, and we can also use it to reinforce an edge because we're topping up the thickness of the material there. Hems are pretty easy to add in solidwork sheet metal, so let's open up our part, and we've still got all these mitre flange details. Let's delete those, and also any extra edge flanges, so we should just have the base flange again, that's 100 by 200 millimeters. The only thing that we need to do is select the hem feature, which is up here on the sheet metal tab. And as usual, we've got a lot of different options on the left. Firstly, we need to select the edge where we want to actually add the hem. So let's select the shorter edge along here. And we should get some kind of preview like this. Then we can set the exact hem parameters here on the left. Firstly, we can set whether the material of the hem is inside or outside the base flange. If we look from the side, we can see this first option, the hem is entirely inside the base. Or with this option, material outside, the hem is added on the base. Then under the type of hem, we got four different options, and hopefully these little icons are fairly self-explanatory. The first one is called closed, this is just where the edge is completely folded over on itself. We can set how long the folded section is, just by adjusting this value here. And with the closed option, if we zoom right in, we do still have a very small cap here, because we've got a tiny bend radius here. The second one is called open, and this is fairly similar to closed. But as well as the length, we can also set the cap distance here. So we could actually make this something like 2mm, and in this way we can specify that cap there. Now the 10mm for the hem actually includes the outside of the pen as well. So remember we've set that to 10mm, I'm gonna press OK to make that feature. And then get the measure tool. If we measure this straight section here, then it's actually only 8mm long. But if we measure the outside of the pen here as well, that's 2mm. So that gives us a total of 10. So in total, we've got 2mm for the pen plus 8 for the straight section, giving 10 overall. If we double click on the feature, we can also actually edit the cap directly, instead of going all the way back into the edit menu. So if I change the cap down to 1, and then rebuild, now we should be able to see that the straight section is actually slightly longer, because the pen here is smaller, but overall the total is still 10mm. Let's go and edit the hem feature again, and then look the third option. That's this one, it's called tail drop, and with this one we can actually set the angle of the pen and the inner radius of the pen. Let's try adjusting the pen radius first. So if I put this to 2, we can see it makes the whole curve larger. Then we can set the angle here. And we see, as I change the angle, the cap by the bottom here remains the same, so we don't actually need to set a length there. Then finally we have roll which is pretty similar to teardrop, but we have a completely circular edge here with no straight section. So instead of the teardrop shape that came down to meet the rest of the sheet, we actually just stop at the end of the circular section here, and we can set that using the angle here on the left. We can also add multiple edges to any of these hem options, and we'll automatically get a corner relief cut out like this. And we can actually change the miter cap if the option is available down here. So to quickly recap, hems are basically when the edge of a sheet is bent over on itself, and this might be to make it stronger, to make it look better, or just to take any sharp edges off. Hems can be added by clicking the hem button, which is here, and then selecting the edges where we want the hems. Then we can adjust our parameters. There are multiple different options, and if you look at the little diagrams on the icon, they'll explain exactly what each of the parameters changes. In the next video, we're going to look at jokes, which are basically an offset Z-shaped pen. So save our part and I'll catch you then. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like, I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.